हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल इफ यू आर न्यू हियर वी आर एम स्क्वायर प्रोजेक्ट्स वी डू एजुकेशनल वीडियोस एंड एक्सप्लेन्स इंजीनियरिंग टेक्निक्स टू मेक यू एक्सपर्टीज टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड कंसेप्ट ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ understand strain let's take one example there is a shaft and there is a external load applied in the axial direction that is in the tensile in the nature due to this external load or tensile force this shaft will try to expand or try to extend into the forward direction but during this movement it will also try to contract its diameter so when there is a deformation there is a strain so how we can define this strain due to this external load there is some change in the length of the rod so strain is defined as it is the ratio of change in the length divided by original length that is change in the length divided by original length here there is a two directions one is longitudinal direction one is lateral direction which is perpendicular to longitudinal so longitudinal direction deformation causes longitudinal strain while lateral deformation causes lateral strain when you see when we are applying the load this length is trying to extend or it is increasing that is why it is also called as a tensile strain so tensile stress causes tensile strain and it is denoted by positive sign but opposite to the length what happens with the diameter it is try to reduce earlier diameter d is been reduced to small d so compressive stress causes lateral strain that is denoted by the negative value here lateral strain will be change in the diameter that is old diameter minus new diameter divided by its original diameter so negative sign comes because if we try to minus reduce diameter minus this original diameter strain is calculated by the mathematical formula change in the length divided by original length and it is denoted by greek letter epsilon as it is the ratio of the same quantity there is no dimension so it's a dimensionless quantity also if we try to apply load on a body and because of this external load there is a change in the volume of this body here i have applied compressive load and this body will reduce to new volume so change in the volume divided by original volume is called as a volumetric strain hope you have understood the strain thank you for watching